So I'm back here with Desmos Geometry and this time I'm going to be making quite a few things. So like I'm going to be making some like interesting patterns. You'll see what I mean. Anyway, so <clears throat> first thing I want to make is what I call a circle chain. So it's just basically a chain of circles. So we start with two points as usual and then put a line through there that's a line then we're gonna have a circle then you you see that this circle ma makes one new point here then we can use that as the new center and make another circle and keep going and you can also do it in the other direction there there and there so you get a circle chain you get a chain of circles looks like doesn't it well we can actually stretch it out in another dimension let's go this point here we'll use this as the center this time then connect it see we're building up in a different direction And again, we can also go in the opposite direction. So there you go, you can see we've got some sort of hexagon here. It's not quite regular, it's a bit longer, but you can see that there's these interesting patterns in here, so there's these kind of like bent in triangular shapes and there's just these like kind of like I guess ellipses, but then the point is sharp. I can zoom in on this just by dragging it up. Okay, maybe that's a bit of far of a zoom, but like just somewhere like that. And yeah, what? Well, we're just gonna hide this line, it's not much. And in fact, you don't really actually need the line if you're just going straight for three, three. If you're going straight for a whole plane instead of just a, a chain. And you can see this pattern all over the place. Yeah, and it does look quite nice. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just a repeated tessellation of these shapes yeah you can have a trial making it yourself too and yeah now I'm going to just unhide this and I'm now I'm going to just clear out everything delete everything and I'm going to make a slightly different pattern so we're going to start with the two points <clears throat> and then we're going to make two circles here like that and then we get this here and then i think last time i made a video about <clears throat> making an equilateral triangle and a hexagon so check out those previous videos if you haven't there's a card up there and you can also check out the link in the description so I'm going to just generate that hexagon now so put a line here so I'm using the line this time and yeah but I'm not actually going to make a hexagon I'm going to stretch this out like this so that I get more lines I'm going to connect all these lines up Okay, that'll be enough for now. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm just going to hide the circles. No need for them. Hide, and there we have another pattern. It's the classic triangular pattern. Yeah, you've probably seen it before. And you will also notice 
that if you take out some of these segments, I can't take them out right now, because if I do hide it, then it hides the whole line. <coughs> Instead of just the segment. So I'm gonna unhide that. And if you take out like just these ones, and then, uh, so like these ones, you get a hexagon pattern. So you can kind of see it here. <coughs> that is, I'm going to mark them polygons <coughs> so that they're easier to see. And you get another pattern, the honeycomb pattern. Yeah, <coughs> so it's just this, or you can call it hexagon pattern. They can be arranged in neat ways, and you can find it inside the triangle pattern. If you just switch, if you ha find a hexagon of six triangles, you can just turn it into a simple, just turn it into one hexagon. So, this time instead of using circles, we've done it with just straight lines. Yeah, well, we did use some circles at the beginning, but okay, the pa actual pattern is just straight. Now I'm going to make one final pattern. So I'm going to delete, oh, don't drag it. Select everything, delete. There, I'm going to again start with the two points. And I think you also remember a video about squares. So yeah, I made two squares. I'm gonna use the second one for now. So yeah, just if you can recall back to the other video. Again, link in description. So <coughs> yeah, and then I'm just gonna quickly go through this. So now you can see there's this square here, and yep, guessed it, we're making a pattern with squares this time. So we can just, you can see I made these circles, like this, these four circles, and they make up this, this, these, like make them equal distances, so I'm going to also continue it on the other side, so then we can just Add as many circles as we like, basically. So this is actually a different circle pattern. This is also a pattern of circles, but it's a bit different. So I'm going to later. I'm going to show both patterns at the same time. So there's already that should be enough for now. And then I'm going to connect some of them up to squares. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make them those mini squares. See these smaller squares inside them. If we hide all the messy things, just say these. I'm gonna hide those. You can see these blue lines we make. Yeah, I'm also gonna make this a line. There, these these blue lines make up a kind of these square patterns. So you can see eight of these squares. I can keep adding squares if. I want, but yeah, not now. And then there's in green, there's also this different circle pattern. Instead of order three, it's order four. So there's like four circles around each circle. So you can see. And so there's shape to four sides. So this, this, you get these shapes and this, this kind of circle thing, except it's got sh like sharpened corners. And then there's also these really flat rhombuses and there's also these kind of triangular things and if you get some of these points you get s squares and these are all just quarter turns yeah pretty easy to construct so that's it for this video and hope you hope you found some of those patterns interesting and i'll see you in another video